Peace, welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give as God gives. And the greatest gift one can give is oneself. The readings that we have this second Sunday of Lent. The first reading, God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac to him, to give the ultimate sacrifice, something that was precious to Abraham, God asked to give to him. And so Abraham, loving God to the best and to the greatest way he can master in himself. So he obeyed the moment that he was about to kill his son in sacrifice. God said, no, now I know where your heart is. Now, in the second reading, we are also, also told by St. Paul that God the Father did not spare his son, but rather give his son to us. Abraham was not able to offer his son Isaac, but actually by heart, God has seen in his heart that he has already offered his son. Meanwhile, in the second reading, the Father God has truly offered his son for the salvation of humanity. And that is why St. Paul said, therefore, there is nothing that God cannot give us along with his son. Everything else that is good can be given to us by God. That is why in this theme of giving is what also we are being called in this second Sunday of blend. In the gospel, Jesus was transfigured before them, before Peter, James, and John. And the transfiguration is the assurance of victory, the assurance that what you are giving, that the act of giving is worth it. Jesus Christ will give his life, but it is a giving that will bear fruit to salvation and the redemption and the recreation of all. In this second week of Lenten season and beyond, let us consider two things. First and foremost, I would like you and I think of what we can give to God that we have in our life existence that we can offer to God. Many times we just think of chocolates and ice creams and think that I am not going to eat chocolate during this Lenten season or ice cream, etc. Well, you don't even eat chocolate every day. And so it is not something that really of worth. The thing that we are trying to think of giving up is not actually costing us much. How about giving up so much time sitting down watching TV and then trying to transform the time into something productive? How about trying to shorten the time of playing your cell phone? And maybe praying or giving time for spiritual reading. How about uh, instead of surfing the internet and then putting in all um, uh, criticisms, etc. Of, of people whom you don't like. How about give something productive, something encouraging. The Lenten season will be more meaningful when you can give to God something really of worth, of value, of effort, something that you can say, this is my sacrifice. This is my self-sacrifice, my self-offering. 
I do not know what you think you can give to God. But I would like us to consider what can I give to God that will cost me something. The Father God gave His Son to us. Abraham was able to give his son Isaac. But in his heart, there was already that love for God, the offering of his son Isaac. Lenten season is not about chocolates or, uh, yes, maybe those, those ice cream or those chocolates are the ones that are costing us so much. But, but Lenten season is more than uh, all these little things that we can offer. Something that will truly make our heart be attuned to God. Something that we can give so that our life can be an offering to God. The second thing I would like us to also do and consider is the idea of forgiving. Give forgiveness in this Lenten season. This is about God wants the humanity to be reconciled to Him. Now, can we not also speak of reconciliation of ourselves? Of reaching out to each other? Forgiveness is hard, especially if the hurt was also painful. And we all know that. Forgiveness is hard because it is even illogical. The person whom you are going to give, give your forgiveness and your mercy and your pardon doesn't have the right to be forgiven. You forgive not because there is the right. You forgive because of the love that you have and you yourself becoming the sacrifice in that love that you forget all the hurts in order to heal. You forget yourself and so that you can reach out to bridge again the gap and there be communion again. Giving forgiveness will make our lives whole. And so give forgiveness. Just as God gives, we give. And the greatest gift that we can give is our self in sacrifice and offering of love. God bless in the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening and please subscribe if you have not done so and share this video to others.